Over the years, I've developed kind of this gut feeling about things for buyers that I want to be aware of. Maybe things that actually scare me that could happen for buyers or that do happen for buyers. One of the things that really stresses me out sometimes with buyers is you don't know what you're signing. And if you are working with a real estate agent who's not willing or able to sit down with you face to face and walk you through what you're signing, consider somebody else. It's really important that not only you, but also your agent can interpret those documents for you. Another item that kind of freaks me out when working with buyers is when they choose not to do an inspection. I'm telling you right now, you guys, you test drive your car, you might as well take a look under the hood of your home. It's extremely important to work with a professional inspector. Don't hire your Uncle Larry. Don't trust your builder friend. You really want an inspector in the home and testing out all sorts of things. Will they find everything? Gosh, I hope so. But it's really important to have an overall picture. Something I worry about when working with buyers is when they rely on information from people that are not in the know, if you know what I mean. So if they've gone on and done a Google search about um, home prices or how much you negotiate on a home or what to look for in an inspection, all of those things. I think Google's great. I think Uncle Dan is great. I think your best friend who came in from out of town to help you buy a house is great. But really, you guys, it's really important that buyers focus on the professional advice and experience of who they hire as a realtor, namely me. But the idea is that you don't want to rely on somebody who does this as a hobby or part-time or read an article somewhere. It's extremely important and it's a big fear of mine when working with buyers that they're not listening to their qualified agent.